Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, we're going to basically optimize our monitor completely to get lower input lag and just smoother gameplay in general. So this guide right here is going to be strictly towards competitive gamers. If you're just a casual gamer and you care about G-Sync and all that stuff, I recommend just clicking off this video and not watching it because G-Sync, we're going to disable in this video. V-Sync, all that stuff, we're all going to disable that in this video. Those cause latency and all just about latency here and this guy is going to be mostly towards competitive gamers that want super low latency gaming and they don't care about smoothness as much as casual players so if you're just a casual player that plays like story mode games or just games that are just look good and look appealing to the eyes then this guy isn't really for you but if you want a just super low latency configuration for your monitor then continue watching this guide you can save it as a profile on your monitor and if you want to switch from casual gaming to competitively gaming you can use that profile so without further ado let's get right into basically optimizing our actual monitor so all we're gonna do is you're gonna basically press the buttons on your monitor it might be a joystick it might be buttons it doesn't really matter just find the buttons on your monitor and press on them and there's gonna be a lot of settings but we're gonna look for settings like AMA and overdrive and free sync and g-sync so any sync technology setting you're gonna disable because all the sync technologies do they just add extra processing time because they are just creating latency in order to match with the FPS in your game. So free sync, disable that. G sync, disable that. Adaptive sync, you can also find that in some monitors. Disable that as well. And also, once you find overdrive or AMA, set that to extreme or whatever the highest is. The issue with this is that if you go higher, you might have a little bit of ghosting. And what ghosting is, I'll pop up a picture of what that looks like here as an example of what ghosting is. But ghosting can be annoying. So you might want to turn it down a little bit depending on your monitor but for most of you you could probably do just extreme for overdrive and ama same thing and then we're gonna find basically free sync g-sync disable that and then and if you have any overclocking settings within your monitor so let's say your monitor is at 165 hertz or a 280 hertz monitor you might have to enable an overclocking setting in the monitor settings in order to actually be able to use that overclocked hertz so that's gonna be pretty much it for the monitor settings there's not really crazy settings that you gotta change in there just disable any sync technology setting now another thing to basically look out for is avoiding just multiple displays hooked up to your pc if you really care about low latency gaming then adding extra monitors is just gonna basically hurt more than it benefits you might need it for streaming you might need it for this or that that's fine but just keep in mind that it could cause issues with latency and it could switch your hertz from 240 to 60 for example i've had that happen with certain people their 60 hertz monitor would mess up with their gameplay and whenever they tab into their game their hertz would switch to 60 which is super weird it's something to do with windows but the easiest way to fix that is just to unplug the 60 hertz monitor if you want just low latency gaming you don't want any interference whatsoever then just use a single display that's going to be the easiest way to do that and now i'm going to head over to basically stuff we can do in actual window settings that help our modern latency just in general so all we're going to do is head over to the link in the description you're going to head over to custom resolution utility and a lot of you might know this tool for basically setting up stretch resolution stuff like that but in this guide we're not going to be using it for that reason we're going to be using it to basically make sure that our refresh rate is a static number it doesn't have any decimals it's just a single three digit number depending on our monitors refresh rate that we have right now so all you're going to do is basically install crew and then extract it from the zip file and then once you have it extracted you're just going to open it up and then you're going to head over to crew.exe and then click the monitors at the top and make sure you select the monitor that you have the highest refresh rate in basically the monitor that you actually use for gaming so for me it's going to be the leng25 and that's going to be my 144 hertz monitor and you might have some monitors that are, don't have the in parentheses active these monitors like for example this one you can just select these press delete on the top right and just switch back to the active ones those you don't really need they're just basically empty monitors so you can delete those if they don't have in parentheses the word active so once you've selected your monitor that you actually use all we're going to do is head over to extension blocks and click edit and try to find whichever slot has your highest refresh rate so for me it's going to be in extension blocks you might have it under detailed resolutions you might have it under standard resolutions i don't know where it's at for your monitor specifically but for me it's going to be under extension blocks i'm just going to select that press edit it's going to be the 1920 by 1080 144 hertz all right so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click edit all right and then timing all i'm going to do is click this i'm going to set it to exact and then refresh rate i'm going to type the exact number that i want 
want it to run at. So it's going to be 144 for this monitor. If you're on 240, it's going to be 240. For 240 hertz and 280 and under, you can pretty much do this for all that. Just do 144, 280, 240, 165, 180, that stuff, depending on your monitor's refresh rate. Now, once you do this, you're going to press OK, and it should say 144 hertz, just like that, 0 0.00. That's what we want. We don't want 1439, stuff like that. We don't want like decimals, basically. You just want a static 144 hertz. All right, at least for me. It might be 240 for you. It might be 280. It might be 165. I don't know. It just depends on your monitor. Then press OK. Press OK again. And then all you're going to do is just run the restart 64.exe. Now, if you get a black screen for whatever reason, after you run restart 64.exe, if you have a black screen, press F8 and it'll switch back to basically whatever the default for the monitor is. And this could be because the refresh rate you put is too high or using exact in the timing for CRU is just funky and messes up with your monitor. If that's the case, don't use that. Don't do the step. This step is just for people that can actually do it. Not everybody is going to be able to do this. There could be some issues doing this. So again, if you run restart 64.exe and you have a black screen after it's basically restarted the screen and it's still black, press F8. It'll go back to normal. So if you did it correctly, it should work perfectly fine. So all we're going to do is head over to our desktop. We're going to right click, click display settings, and then we're going to scroll all the way down, go to advanced display settings, and then we're going to select our main monitor, which is going to be obviously my Lenovo monitor that's 144 hertz. And it should say under display information, refresh rate, it should say 144.000. Previously, it will say 143.999. That's just going to cause issues in terms of just input lag and stuff like that. It's going to cause inconsistencies in the game just because in game, you're most likely capping out your refresh rate, which is going to be 144. And technically it's 143.9 might cause some issues. That's why we're doing this. This should help smooth this just in general, along with the other settings that we just did for our monitors. So if you did this correctly, it should say it's just like that. If you still have 239.0 something, then you might have to redo this, look into it. And then if it's at 60 hertz, just click display adaptive properties for display one and then go to list all modes scroll all the way down and just choose the native resolution that you have with that refresh rate that you chose so it's going to be 1920 by 1080 144 press ok press ok again and it'll apply all right so that's basically all we can do for our monitors in order to get lower input lag and just make them look better make us see things faster on our screens that's going to be pretty much it for this video guys if you want a full pc optimization service where you get lower input lag way Way more FPS and just smoother gameplay in general. Head over to the link in my description. I've worked with people like Booga. I've worked with people like Face Bizzle. I've worked with basically every big Fortnite player in the scene. So if you want to do more research on me, you can look at my Twitter. I've been doing this for about four years. So I know what I'm doing when it comes to PC optimizations. And if you want lower ample lag, better FPS, and smoother gameplay, head over to the link in the description and book a service. With that being said, if you want a full PC just completely built by me, professionally built, head over to the second link in the description it'll take you to my shopify website where you can purchase a custom built pc straight from me where it comes optimized and it's tested for you and everything's done for you so whenever it ships to your house all you have to do is just literally install your game and just start a gaming and it will run smooth it's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one peace out